please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. But let me let me start with you, uh, Mahua. If you could explain the rationale uh, behind going to the Supreme Court and challenging this decision of the government, the government's defense is that look, it's the need of the hour because there's a lot of fake news and rumors. Uh, we've seen all these cases of lynching happening on the basis of rumors of late. So it's the need of the hour to have some form of monitoring uh, of social media. How would you respond to that? Uh, look, this is something that the government has come out with in the last 10 minutes or in, uh, uh, certainly in the course of the day, during the course of the day today. This is absolutely, please understand what this particular issue is and it's ex extremely different from what WhatsApp and fake news and all of that. They're two very different things. It is the BGP's propaganda machine which is trying to spin it in this to, sp to swing public opinion in their favor. Please understand what this, what this particular issue is. This is a request for proposal which is a tender which has been put out by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. It has not been put out by the Ministry of Home Affairs. This is the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. What they're trying to do is to create a social media hub. And they have said there that in that they want to basically collect data from granular individual level. They want to use it to listen for and collect data from all social media platforms, including emails. They also want to crawl a social media and World Wide Web for data mining. They want to monitor individual social media user accounts. And on the propaganda side, they say, how can the public perception be molded in a positive manner? How can nationalistic feelings be inculcated? This is something they want to have a, a real-time war room. 716 districts are going to be monitored and information fed in. This is nothing to do with tackling fake news or WhatsApp, in which case they should put in an anti-fake news legislation. They should okay. bring in an anti-hate speech law and implement it. These are two very different Narendra things. To Please respond understand. To that. I Narendra mean, it's Narendra extremely Narendra upsetting. What what Mahua is suggesting is no, no. One second. What, what, what Mahua is suggesting is, you know, you, what you are basically saying, your defense of, you know, this is actually to tra tackle fake news, is a complete red herring because she says that this is basically about complete. controlling conversation, online conversation, snooping into people's emails, snooping into encrypted messages between people. That is surely, as the Supreme Court observed, the makings of a surveillance state. Zaka, the problem is that Trinamul Congress is so rattled by the rising, you know, a footprint of Bharati Janata Party in West Bengal that they see demons where none exist. None exists. So if you, if you look, it's a proposal from the Ministry of Information Broadcasting and used to say, you know, what they are trying to say. First of first thing first, everything is in accordance with the Constitution and with the, within the spirit of the Constitution. Nothing, nothing ever will be done or can be done, can even be think, you know, uh, considered, which is violative of the, the privacy, which is guaranteed by the Constitution. That's the stand of the party, that's the stand of the government. To Supreme Court, of course, you know, uh, uh, we will be giving a reply to the Supreme Court of the issue. The whole idea is very simple. You know, whole idea is basically to have a kind of, you know, network so that we can disseminate information about what the government is doing in terms of various schemes and plans and other things. And at the same time, collect feedback from the people so that how can we improve, whether it comes to services, when it comes to subsidies, when it comes to support to farmers and, and uh, so on and so forth. And state governments will also be roped in. So wherever state governments wants to use the platform so that they also chip in and they no, can no, use this platform. No, no, hang on, hang on. There are, there are a hundred, there are a hundred ways in which you can do that. Media. But, how but, but, can uh, the government uh, uh, can you use know, this? Thing. One second, can I just make an observation? I, I don't think you can just brush this aside by saying that this is because the Trinamool is rattled because it's not the Trinamool that observed that this is the makings of a surveillance state, it's the Supreme Court. So if you're saying that, then, then you should apply the same to the Supreme Court. Why should the Supreme Court be rattled by, by no. what you are suggesting or what you're intending no. to no. implement? Listen, allow me to, allow me. You know, we, you see, Zaka, Z yeah, Zaka, we respect what the Supreme Court has to say. We respect the Supreme Court. But as I said, uh, the government response is forthcoming. Just wait. You see, the question is that, you know, the Supreme Court is probably responding to kind of arguments and the quality of arguments and motivated arguments some people might have made. So, but at the same time, as I said, we respect that. But the, uh, what the proposal is, I'm focusing on the proposal. What is the proposal? That's the proposal, nothing more than that. And okay, there are I'll tell you what the proposal like is. I'm going to run this again for the benefit of our viewers. No We've got Rohan Gupta here in the studio. Kartika Seth is also here in the studio.